Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel, I'm Mars. So, I've been wanting to make a save file for ages, but I kept putting it off because it's such like a huge undertaking because we have so many worlds now, but I finally got inspired the other day and I just was like, I'm going to start and I'll just see how I get on. So I ended up building this house here, um, which is a starter home. So I'm starting with Willow Creek and I like bulldozed the entire uh, world, got rid of all the lots. So I'm not going to like renovate anything, I'm actually just going to build everything from scratch and then just build what I want to build where I want to build it and not necessarily stay with the way Willow Creek is, is like initially. So like I'm not necessarily just going to put the community lots where the community lots are and I'm not necessarily going to put all the houses where they were like originally. <laughs> this one though is, this one is um, the Crick Cabana um, uh, starter home so it's that kind of long starter home. Uh, that's like by the lake here. Uh, so that's the one I started with and I, I was like well I'll definitely keep this one as a starter home because it just makes sense for the size of the lot. Um, I didn't really have a plan when I started this. I kind of just thought I'll just start building and I'll see what I end up with. <laughs> and that's kind of what I did. So uh, it, which meant it probably took me longer than it should have because I did have to kind of start and stop and remove things a couple of times but I think it turned out okay um, so I ended up making this two bedrooms and I kind of again I was like as I was going along I was thinking I'll just when I get to the bedrooms I'll decide who lives here and then once I started on this bedroom I kind of decided it was gonna be like a house that maybe that two friends are sharing so if we could like I picture this more as like a rental but unfortunately we can't rent houses in The Sims 4 which I really wish we could because it would be so much more realistic but like I kind of picture this as like two friends move into this house together and um, so it's got two double bed bedrooms um, so that's kind of what I was thinking for this one and um, I ended up using I kind of didn't really limit myself on packs or anything because the idea is I'm going to make remake all, over all of the worlds because I, I currently have all of the packs so for that reason I was like I'm just going to use what I want to use um, in in each world um, so yeah I didn't really limit myself that way um, obviously I had to limit myself budget wise to make sure that it is a starter home budget I think it ends up being about 19 grand but by the time it's done, it, I kind of managed to fit most of the things you would need in a, in a starter home anyway, so I don't think your sims would need too much money to start off with when they do move in here. Uh, now when I moved to the kitchen, I realised I was running a bit shorter on money than I anticipated, so I had to put the like old used kitchen furniture from City Living, so it's like the crappy used counters and the old oven and fridge so I kind of pictured like the way I said it I imagine this is a rental home so I imagine like they would the sims would move in here and the kitchen would have been kind of old because it's an old rented house and the bathroom is like older uh, plumbing and stuff so it's got the old bathtub but then they would have like painted and brought their own bedroom furniture and stuff like that so then some parts look nicer than others um, yeah so then when I moved on to the second bedroom here I was yeah this is definitely two friends so because I, I was able to fit two double beds because I wasn't too sure initially if I'd be able to do that I thought I might only fit a single but then the, the room was quite big as well so it's fine it's great. I really love those little tiny bookshelves. Aren't they so handy? Just put them on your like a, a table or something. It's great. Um, so yeah, um, I ended up being able to put kind of uh, most things. Yeah, as I said, that you'd need. So I've got a TV for entertainment. I've got a computer, which we all know a computer is kind of a necess necessity. Yeah. <laughs> 
Birds uh, in The Sims 4. Uh, yeah, then when I came back to go to the kitchen and I was like, I'll put cabinets, I realised that for some reason there's only like some swatches for the cabinets. They don't match all of the colours for the counters for those, um, so I had to change the colours, which is really annoying. Um, I ended up removing the fence and all at the back garden because, again, I was running too low on money, so I was like, that's just not needed. So I got rid of that and kind of made the back a bit sparser um, because, I mean, it is a starter home really, so that's the kind of thing you can build up to. Uh, so I'm really not very good at roofs. I, I hate them, like with a passion. So I initially attempted to do some sort of an exciting roof and then it was a massive fail, so I just gave up and just gave like a basic roof. I even end up changing it again from this one, I think. Um, because I just, yeah, I really hate roofs. <laughs> I find them so hard. I, I just need to practice more with them. Um, yeah, so I think I've pretty much done on the inside, and now I start just to focus it yeah, on the outside. I did a bit of landscaping, put in some plants and hedges just to make it look less bare, but I didn't spend too much money on the outside because I mean at this stage I was already at 17 and a half grand so I was really keeping an eye on the budget. So I just put um, a barbecue and a table at the back because I thought that would be handy. Uh, particularly because I like, I actually really like this a lot, the way it's like right by the fishing spot and everything. It just, it, it looks like an area you'd, you'd like to sit at your back garden I think so I wanted to put something at the back. And then I figured some planters are always handy because then it gives Sims the options to get into gardening if you want to do that. And they're, they're pretty cheap as well so they're kind of a handy-ish way to put some some activity in the house. And then I added some of the traits to the lot. Um, and then yeah I kind of moved a lot around a wee bit because I realised it was a bit too far back and then it was too far so I just messed with it a couple of times. Yeah, um, and then I think I changed the roof here, yeah. Yep, there we go. Which now that I'm, I'm kind of wishing I'd kept it the other way but oh well. <laughs> and then I just go back inside because I had a little bit of money left over and I wanted to like put maybe one more thing inside after I spent ages deciding whether to put more gardening stuff outside and then I decided not to. <laughs> Again, like a bike as well, I was able to get a bike in with the budget um, and I, I think that looks really cute outside the house because it just makes it look lived in. Uh, and then yeah, here I realised that there was this kind of big gap here where I had the bookshelf and nothing else on that wall. So I, I spent a while going back and forth about what to put here, uh, but then I ended up going with an easel because again it's just, it's handy, it, it's a, particularly for a starter house, it's a handy way to make sims earn money, you just get them paint if you want, or just, you know, give them some creativity. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this house turned out, I think it looks pretty good for a starter home, um, as I said it does have everything in it, just, you know, the kitchen, you'd want to replace that and the beds are uncomfortable beds, but aside from that I think it looks okay. Um, yeah, so this is it. Um, I've put it up on the gallery if you want to download it. I'm going to put each build up as I go along on the gallery and then obviously when I'm totally done and however long that takes me I'll have the whole save file up. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you want to check me out on Twitter, I'm there at Mars Simmer. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments. Bye!